in probability theory and information theory, the Kullbacher Euro Leibler divergence is a non symmetric measure of the difference between two probability distributions P and Q. Specifically, the Kullbacher Euro Leibler divergence of Q from P, denoted DKL, PQ, is a measure of the information lost when Q is used to approximate P. The KL divergence measures the expected number of extra bits required to code samples from P when using a code based on Q, rather than using a code based on P. Typically P represents the true distribution of data, observations, or a precisely calculated theoretical distribution. The measure Q typically represents a theory, model, description, or approximation of P. Although it is often intuited as a metric or distance. The KL divergence is not a true metric a euro for example, it is not symmetric, the KL divergence from P to Q is generally not the same as that from Q to P. However, its infinitesimal form, specifically its Hessian, is a metric tensor, it is the Fisher information metric. KL divergence is a special case of a broader class of divergences called F divergences. It was originally introduced by Solomon Kullback and Richard Leibler in 1951 as the director divergence between two distributions. It can be derived from a Brickman divergence. Definition For discrete probability distributions P and Q, the KL divergence of Q from P is defined to be. In words, it is the expectation of the logarithmic difference between the probabilities P and Q, where the expectation is taken using the probabilities P. The KL divergence is only defined if P and Q both sum to 1 and if implies for all I. If the quantity appears in the formula, it is interpreted as zero because for distributions P and Q of a continuous random variable, KL divergence is defined to be the integral, where P and Q denote the densities of P and Q. More generally, if P and Q are probability measures over a set X, and P is absolutely continuous with respect to Q, then the Kullbacher Euro Leibler divergence from P to Q is defined as where is the Radoni Euro Nicodem derivative of P with respect to Q, and provided the expression on the right hand side exists. Equivalently, this can be written as which we recognize as the entropy of P relative to Q continuing in this case, if is any measure on X for which and exist, then the KL divergence from P to Q is given as the logarithms in these formulae are taken to a base 2 if information is measured in units of bits, or to base e if information is measured in nats. Most formulas involving the KL divergence hold irrespective of log base. Various conventions exist for referring to DKL, PQ, in words. Often it is referred to as the divergence between P and Q. However this fails to convey the fundamental asymmetry in the relation. Sometimes it may be found described as the divergence of P from, or with respect to Q. However, in the present article the divergence of Q from P will be the language used, as this best relates to the idea that it is P that is considered the underlying true, or best guess distribution, that expectations will be calculated with reference to, while Q is some divergent, less good, approximate distribution. Motivation In information theory the Kraft Euro Macmillan theorem establishes that any directly decodable coding scheme for coding a message to identify one value out of a set of possibilities can be seen as representing an implicit probability distribution over where is the length of the code for in bits. Therefore, KL divergence can be interpreted as the expected extra message length per datum that must be communicated if a code that is optimal for a given distribution is used, compared to using a code based on the true distribution. Where H, P, Q, is called the cross entropy of P and Q, and H, P, is the entropy of P, note also that there is a relation between the KL divergence and the rate function in the theory of large deviations. Kullback brings together all notions of information in his historic text, Information Theory and Statistics. For instance he shows that the mean discriminating information between two hypotheses is the basis for all of the various measures of information, from Shannon to Fisher. Shannon's rate is the mean information between the hypotheses of dependence and independence of processes. Fisher's information is second order term and dominant in the Taylor approximation of the discriminating information between two models of the same parametric family. Computing the closed form, 
For many common families of distributions, the KL divergence between two distributions in the family can be derived in closed form. This can often be done most easily using the form of the KL divergence in terms of expected values or in terms of information entropy. Where is the information entropy of and is the cross entropy of and properties, the Kullbacher Euro Leibler divergence is always non negative. A result known as Gibbs inequality, with DKL, PQ, 0 if and only if par equals a Q almost everywhere. The entropy H, P, thus sets a minimum value for the cross entropy H, P, Q, the expected number of bits required when using a code based on Q rather than P. And the KL divergence therefore represents the expected number of extra bits that must be transmitted to identify a value X drawn from X, if a code is used corresponding to the probability distribution Q, rather than the true distribution P. The Kullbacher Euro Leibler divergence remains well defined for continuous distributions, and furthermore is invariant under parameter transformations. For example, if a transformation is made from variable X to variable Y, x, then, since p, x, a d x a equals a p, y, a d y and q, x, a d x a equals a q, y, a d y the Kullbacher Euro Leibler divergence may be rewritten. Where and. Although it was assumed that the transformation was continuous, this need not be the case. This also shows that the Kullbacher Euro Leibler divergence produces a dimensionally consistent quantity. Since if x is a dimension variable, p, x, and q, x, are also dimensioned, since for example p, x, a d x is dimensionless. The argument of the logarithmic term is and remains dimensionless, as it must. It can therefore be seen as in some ways a more fundamental quantity than some other properties in information theory, which can become undefined or negative for non-discrete probabilities. The Kullbacher Euro Leibler divergence is additive for independent distributions in much the same way as Shannon entropy. If R independent distributions, with the joint distribution, and likewise, then KL divergence for the normal distributions, the Kullbacher Euro Leibler divergence between two multivariate normal distributions of the dimension with the means and their corresponding non singular covariance matrices. The logarithm in the last term must be taken to Basie since all terms apart from the last are Basie logarithms of expressions that are either factors of the density function or otherwise arise naturally. The equation therefore gives a result measured in Nats. Dividing the entire expression above by Logia 2 yields the divergence in bits. Relation to metrics, one might be tempted to call it a distance metric on the space of probability distributions. But this would not be correct as the Kullbacher Euro Leibler divergence is not symmetric a euro that is, a euro, nor does it satisfy the triangle inequality. Still, being a prometric, it generates a topology on the space of generalized probability distributions, of which probability distributions proper are a special case. More concretely, if is a sequence of distributions such that, then it is said that Pinsker's inequality entails that where the latter stands for the usual convergence and total variation. Following RA copyright me the term is sometimes also called the information gain about X achieved if P can be used instead of Q. It is also called the relative entropy, for using Q instead of P, Fisher information metric, however, the Kullbacher Euro Leibler divergence is rather directly related to a metric, specifically, the Fisher information metric. This can be made explicit as follows. Assume that the probability distributions P and Q are both parameterized by some parameter. Consider then two close by values of and so that the parameter differs by only a small amount from the parameter value. Specifically, up to first order one has. With a small change of in the J direction, and the corresponding rate of change in the probability distribution. Since the KL divergence has an absolute minimum zero for P equals Q, that is, it changes only to second order in the small parameters. More formally, as for any minimum, the first derivatives of the divergence vanish. And by the Taylor expansion one has up to second order, where the Hessian matrix of the divergence must be positive semidefinite. 
letting vary the Hessian defines a Riemannian metric on the parameter space, called the Fischer information metric. Relation to other quantities of information theory Many of the other quantities of information theory can be interpreted as applications of the KL divergence to specific cases. The self-information is the KL divergence of the probability distribution P, I, from a Kronecker delta representing certainty that EA equals AMA euro that is the number of extra bits that must be transmitted to identify I if only the probability distribution P, I, is available to the receiver, not the fact that EA equals AM. The mutual information is the KL divergence of the product P, X, P, Y, of the two marginal probability distributions from the joint probability distribution P, X, Y, A euro that is the expected number of extra bits that must be transmitted to identify X and Y if they are coded using only their marginal distributions instead of the joint distribution. Equivalently, if the joint probability P, X, Y, is known. It is the expected number of extra bits that must on average be sent to identify Y if the value of X is not already known to the receiver. The Shannon entropy is the number of bits which would have to be transmitted to identify X from N equally likely possibilities, less the KL divergence of the uniform distribution P U, X, from the true distribution P, X, A euro that is less the expected number of bits saved which would have had to be sent if the value of x were coded according to the uniform distribution p u, x, rather than the true distribution p, x. The conditional entropy is the number of bits which would have to be transmitted to identify x from n equally likely possibilities, less the KL divergence of the product distribution p u, x, p, y, from the true joint distribution p, x, y, a euro that is less the expected number of bits saved which would have had to be sent if the value of x were coded according to the uniform distribution p u, x, rather than the conditional distribution p, zao y, of x given y. The cross entropy between two probability distributions measures the average number of bits needed to identify an event from a set of possibilities. If a coding scheme is used based on a given probability distribution, rather than the true distribution, the cross entropy for two distributions and over the same probability space is thus defined as follows. KL divergence and Bayesian updating. In Bayesian statistics the KL divergence can be used as a measure of the information gain in moving from a prior distribution to a posterior distribution. If some new fact Y equals AY is discovered, it can be used to update the probability distribution for X from P, Zao I, to a new posterior probability distribution P, Zan A Y, I, using Bayes' theorem. This distribution has a new entropy, which may be less than or greater than the original entropy H, P, A A Y. However, from the standpoint of the new probability distribution one can estimate that to have used the original code based on P, Zan I, instead of a new code based on P, Zan A Y, I, would have added an expected number of bits to the message length. This therefore represents the amount of useful information, or information gain, about x, that we can estimate has been learned by discovering u equals a y. If a further piece of data, y2 equals a y2, subsequently comes in, the probability distribution for x can be updated further, to give a new best guess p, x y1, y2, i. If one reinvestigates the information gain for using p, x y1, i. Rather than P, X I, it turns out that it may be either greater or less than previously estimated, may be a per mil currency or than, and so the combined information gain does not obey the triangle inequality, may be, equals or than, all one can say is that on average, averaging using P, Y2 A A Y1, X, I, the two sides will average out. Bayesian experimental design a common goal in Bayesian experimental design is to maximize the expected KL divergence between the prior and the posterior. When posteriors are approximated to be Gaussian distributions, a design maximizing the expected KL divergence is called Bayes d optimal. Discrimination information, the Kullbacher Euro Labeler divergence DKL, P, XH1, P, XHO, 
can also be interpreted as the expected discrimination information for H1 over HO, the mean information per sample for discriminating in favor of a hypothesis H1 against a hypothesis HO, when hypothesis H1 is true. Another name for this quantity, given to it by I.J. Good, is the expected weight of evidence for H1 over HO to be expected from each sample. The expected weight of evidence for H1 over HO is not the same as the information gain expected per sample about the probability distribution P, H, of the hypotheses, DKL, P, XH1, P, XHO, AIG equals DKL, P, HX, P, HI. Either of the two quantities can be used as a utility function in Bayesian experimental design, to choose an optimal next question to investigate, but they will in general lead to rather different experimental strategies. On the entropy scale of information gain there is very little difference between near certainty and absolute certainty a euro coding according to a near certainty requires hardly any more bits than coding according to an absolute certainty. On the other hand, on the logit scale implied by weight of evidence, the difference between the two is enormous a euro infinite perhaps. This might reflect the difference between being almost sure that, say, the Riemann hypothesis is correct, compared to being certain that it is correct because one has a mathematical proof. These two different scales of loss function for uncertainty are both useful, according to how well each reflects the particular circumstances of the problem in question. Principle of minimum discrimination information, the idea of Kullback a Euro labeler divergences discrimination information led Kullback to propose the principle of minimum discrimination information, given new facts, a new distribution F should be chosen which is as hard to discriminate from the original distribution FO as possible. So that the new data produces as small an information gain DKL, FFO, as possible. For example, if one had a prior distribution P, X, A, over X and A, and subsequently learnt the true distribution of A was U, A, the Kullback a Euro labeler divergence between the new joint distribution for X and A, Q, X A, U, A, and the earlier prior distribution would be. That is the sum of the KL divergence of P, A, the prior distribution for A from the updated distribution U, A, plus the expected value of the KL divergence of the prior conditional distribution P, X A, from the new conditional distribution Q, X A, and denoted by DKL, Q, X A, P, X A. This is minimized if Q, X A, equals P, X A, over the whole support of U, A. And we note that this result incorporates Bayes' theorem, if the new distribution U, A, is in fact a I function representing certainty that A has one particular value. MDI can be seen as an extension of Laplace's principle of insufficient reason, and the principle of maximum entropy of E.T. Jaynes. In particular, it is the natural extension of the principle of maximum entropy from discrete to continuous distributions, for which an entropy ceases to be so useful, but the KL divergence continues to be just as relevant. In the engineering literature, MDI is sometimes called the principle of minimum cross entropy or MINXENT for short. Minimizing the KL divergence of M from P with respect to M is equivalent to minimizing the cross entropy of P and M, since, which is appropriate if one is trying to choose an adequate approximation to P. However, this is just as often not the task one is trying to achieve. Instead, just as often it is M that is some fixed prior reference measure, and P that one is attempting to optimize by minimizing DKL, PM, subject to some constraint. This has led to some ambiguity in the literature, with some authors attempting to resolve the inconsistency by redefining cross entropy to be DKL, PM, rather than H, P, M. Relationship to available work. Surprisals add where probabilities multiply. The surprisal for an event of probability is defined as if is then surprisal is in nats, bits, or so that, for instance, there are bits of surprisal for landing all heads on a toss of coins. Best guess states are inferred by maximizing the average surprisal for a given set of control parameters. This constrained entropy maximization, both classically and quantum mechanically, 
minimizes Gibbs availability in entropy units where is a constrained multiplicity or partition function. When temperature is fixed, free energy is also minimized. Thus if a number of the molecules are constant, the Helmholtz free energy is minimized as a system equilibrates. If and are held constant, the Gibbs free energy is minimized instead. The change in free energy under these conditions is a measure of available work that might be done in the process. Thus available work for an ideal gas at constant temperature and pressure is where and. More generally the work available relative to some ambient is obtained by multiplying ambient temperature by KL divergence or net surprisal, defined as the average value of where is the probability of a given state under ambient conditions. For instance, the work available in equilibrating a monatomic ideal gas to ambient values of and is thus, where KL divergence. The resulting contours of constant KL divergence, shown at right for a mole of argon at standard temperature and pressure, for example put limits on the conversion of hot to cold as in flame-powered air conditioning or in the unpowered device to convert boiling water to ice water discussed here. Thus KL divergence measures thermodynamic availability in bits. Quantum information theory, for density matrices P and Q on a Hilbert space the car euro L divergence from P to Q is defined to be. In quantum information science the minimum of overall separable states Q can also be used as a measure of entanglements in the state P, relationship between models and reality, just as KL divergence of ambient from actual measures thermodynamic availability. KL divergence of model from reality is also useful even if the only clues we have about reality are some experimental measurements. In the former case KL divergence describes distance to equilibrium or the amount of available work, while in the latter case it tells you about surprises that reality has up its sleeve or, in other words, how much the model has yet to learn. Although this tool for evaluating models against systems that are accessible experimentally may be applied in any field, its application to models in ecology via archaic information criterion are particularly well described in papers and a book by Burnham and Anderson. In a nutshell the KL divergence of a model from reality may be estimated, to within a constant additive term, by a function of the deviations observed between data and the model's predictions. Estimates of such divergence for models that share the same additive term can in turn be used to choose between models. When trying to fit parameters models to data there are various estimators which attempt to minimize Kullbacher euro labeler divergence, such as maximum likelihood and maximum spacing estimators. Symmetrized divergence, Kullback and Leibler themselves actually defined the divergence as which is symmetric and non-negative. This quantity has sometimes been used for feature selection in classification problems where P and Q are the conditional PDFs of a feature under two different classes. An alternative is given via the I divergence, which can be interpreted as the expected information gain about X from discovering which probability distribution X is drawn from, P or Q, if they currently have probabilities I, and respectively. The value I equals 0.5 gives the Jensina Euro Shannon divergence, defined by where m is the average of the two distributions. DJS can also be interpreted as the capacity of a noisy information channel with two inputs giving the output distributions P and Q. The Jensina Euro Shannon divergence, like all F divergences, is locally proportional to the Fisher information metric. It is similar to the Hellinger metric, and equal to one half the so called Jeffreys divergence. Relationship to Ra copyright knee divergence and Hellinger distance, if P and Q are two probability measures, then the squared Hellinger distance is the quantity given by. And the Ra copyright knee divergence of order I plus or minus is. The Kullbacher Euro labeler divergence can be lower bounded in terms of the Ra copyright knee divergence of order a one half and the Hellinger distance. Other probability distance measures. Other measures of probability distance are the histogram intersection, chi squared statistic, quadratic form distance, match distance, Kolmogorova Eurosmnov distance, and Earth movers distance. Data differencing. Just as absolute entropy serves as theoretical background for data compression, relative entropy serves as theoretical background for data differencing a euro the absolute entropy of a set of data in this sense being the data required to reconstruct it. 
while the relative entropy of a target set of data, given a source set of data, is the data required to reconstruct the target given the source. See also, Bruckmann divergence, Jensen Euro Shannon divergence, deviance information criterion, Bayesian information criterion, quantum relative entropy, information gain in decision trees, Solomon Kulbach and Richard Leibler, information theory and measure theory, entropy power inequality, information gain ratio, entropic value at risk, archaic information criterion, references. External links Information Theoretical Estimators Toolbox, Ruby Gem for Calculating KL Divergence, John Schlen's Tutorial on Kullback Euro Labeler Divergence and Likelihood Theory, MATLAB Code for Calculating KL Divergence for Discrete Distributions, Sergio Verda, Relative Entropy, NIPS 2009. One hour video lecture. A modern summary of info theoretic divergence measures.